So we're in the Inner Sunset Tattoo of San Francisco. Today we're talking to Craig Newmark. Craig, welcome to the podcast. Hey, I'm glad to be here. Um, Craig, so we're first kind of interested in hearing the creation story. Can you tell us about how Craigslist got started? In 94, I was at Charles Schwab telling people that, hey, this is the way brokerages of all sorts would work someday. Looking around, I saw people helping each other people. And I thought I should uh, do a little of that. So in early 95, I started a simple events list, arts and technology events, and then just started listening to what people suggested and doing what of that uh, made sense. That's our pattern to this day, although these days it's Jim Buckmaster who leads that uh, effort. We're curious in hearing about how, you know, 10 years plus now, you remain creative. Regarding creativity, uh, I'm not very creative at all or entrepreneurial. It's the people... uh, who work uh, around me, who provide that. Again, Jim leading the company overall, and then we have a whole bunch of people who are making things happen. Like there's uh, Eric Scheid, who uh, is our CTO and makes the technology work. We focus not so much on uh, what people might consider creative or entrepreneurial. We just got a job to do and we follow through. In 95, you put up an events list. People start responding to it, and you're getting suggestions. At what point does it seem to you that things have really sort of tipped? I don't know if I've ever seen any tipping point. There have been some times of more rapid acceleration or not, Mm -hmm. and there's been some milestones, but it's been slow but steady progress. I mean, a race between hare and tortoise, so we're the tortoise. At what point did did this suddenly transition from a hobby to something where you thought, wait a minute, this is really catching on? Was there sort of an aha moment? The real or you got too many emails. <laughs> the real turning point for us was around the end of December '98, yeah. when people cornered me and uh, helped shake me out of denial that this wasn't just a hobby and not a simple volunteer effort, but had to be a real company. And so, in early '99, I turned things into a real company, although I wasn't very good at that. About a year later, Jim took over and then got serious. I'm uh, not much of a manager. Um, you know, I do a pretty good job. I'm not just eye candy. Um, but uh, Jim does the real heavy lifting. Gotcha. What point did you actually quit your day job? That was roughly in February of 99. Wow. For several years, I was doing software contracting. Then I spent a few months in a startup. But uh, I finally came out of denial again in early 99, figuring I had to get serious. And what was your audience like when you decided to finally do this for fun? Just anecdotally, as far as we could tell, it was just a lot of people throughout the Bay Area who had gotten themselves connected. By then, I think it was beyond early adopters. Mm -hmm. In this area, there was so much buzz about the net, given the uh, bubble, that people uh, got it. Mm -hmm.